Hello and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be talking about extruded cut. To understand extruded cut, I'm going to use this simple block which is on design canvas. Extrusion is padding the material and extruded cut is the removal of material. So we are going to have a look at all the variations we have in extruded cut. So let's go ahead and apply extruded cut feature to this block. But before that, in order to apply extruded cut feature, you need to have a profile or a sketch. So first, I'm going to go and create a sketch for extruded cut. I'm going to go to sketch or simply you can click on extruded cut. And once you click on extruded cut under features tab here, it's going to show this dialog box, which says you need to select a plane. So I'm going to select this plane or if you have any sketch, the second point says if you have an existing sketch, you can also use it for the feature, whereas the first one gives you information on selecting the plane. So as you already clicked extruded cut here and we don't have any sketch here, I'm going to choose plane. So I'm going to choose this top plane here and I'm going to create a circle. So we are going to create a hole here in this block. For that, we need this circle and I'm going to use smart dimension and the diameter of this circle is 50 mm. Okay, now the circle is fully defined. All I have to do is go to features and click on extruded cut or simply I can click on exit sketch because we are already under extruded cut here. So I'm going to click on exit sketch. Once I click on exit, exit sketch, this dialog box gets opened and this is cut extra dialog box. As you can see, the first option we have is from. So here under from we have sketch plane. So sketch plane essentially means that this plane on which we have the sketch. So it is going to start from the sketch plane. Let's say if I use offset, so I can give some offset distance. So here we have the sketch plane. If I give the offset distance as let's say 20 mm, you can see that there is an offset of 20 mm here, over here. And if I just reverse the direction, you can see that it went 20 mm below the surface. So that's how we are going to use offset and this way you can create some slots instead of hole in the block. I'm going to go back to sketch plane here. As you can see, it is starting from sketch. And in direction one, I'm going to leave it as blind. And when the direction, when the end condition isn't blind, it takes the default value of the extrusion. So earlier, the extrusion height is about 100 mm. So it took the value as 100 mm. I'm going to leave it that way for now. I'm going to click OK. So when I click OK, you can see a hole here. So this is one way to use extruder cut. So let's say if I go back to boss extrude here and edit this feature and make it uh, something like 120 mm, do you think that there is a through hole? Well, the answer is no, because it is in blind condition. As you can see, it is not a through hole. Instead, it's a slot. To make it a through hole, what we need to do is, we need to change the end condition or we need to change the distance. Uh, you can change the depth as 120 mm, which is the extrusion depth, or simply you can change this end condition to through hole. When you use through wall, no matter what the length is, it always passes through one surface. It always extends through. It always gets extended from one surface till the other. In this case, from here till here. So I'm going to click OK. Now we can see there is a hole. Let's go back to boss extrude one and try editing the depth. Now I just want to make it. Uh, 300 
if I make it 300, we can still see the hole because it's a through wall hole. Like I said, it always gets extended from one surface to the other surface, which means it's a through wall hole. Now let's go back to boss extrude and make it 100. So we are back to initial design and it's a through wall hole here. Cut texture, and it feature. So the first one is sketch plane and the second one is surface face or plane. So I'm going to select the surface face or plane and here we need to select the surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this surface and I'm going to change this direction so that it comes in the upper direction. If I make it downward direction, I don't think we can see any hole. Let's have a look at it. As you can see, uh, it gives us a error which says cannot locate enough feature. So it doesn't have a end here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flip this and check if it's working or not. See it's working because we just flipped the direction. Let's go back to cut extrude again and have a look at other features it has. So instead of selecting this face, I can also select this face here. Uh, right click on this and delete the face that you already selected. Select this face now. Here again, when it's through all hole or when it's any of this, you won't be able to see any extra cut because there is no end point here. If I just click on OK, you will see this error again, which says cannot locate end of feature because there is no end point in this direction. Make sure that you have end point when you are working with cut extrude. So this time I'm going to change the direction. I'm going to click on this button here, which flips the direction and it is going in downward direction now. If I click OK, I can see a through hole here. I'm going to go back to trimetric view. And this time, we will explore some other features or variations we have here. I'm going to delete this thing or simply I'm going to change the... So now, we have to select the vertex. I can select this vertex, I can select this vertex. So that will be considered as the starting point or the reference point. I can also select this one here. So I'm going to select this vertex. As you can see, it's going in downward direction, which is its regular direction. I can simply flip it, but we have already seen if it is going in opposite direction and when there is no end point, we won't be able to see any extruded cut feature applying to this block. So instead, I'm going to flip the direction and I'm going to click on OK. Again, this works in the same way, just like the surface or face or the plane, sketch plane. Uh, you can also choose any of the vertex here. You can choose this vertex, you can choose this one, you can choose this one, or else you can also choose this vertex here and you can simply flip the direction. The last one we have here is offset. So when I'm using offset, I can give an offset distance here. Here, I already gave this offset distance as 20 mm. And if I flip the direction, you can see it's going upward. If I flip the direction again, it's going downward. And it is below the surface. In this case, it is above the surface. Let's go ahead and have a look at this. Uh, Again, under in condition, it is through all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to blind condition. And if I use blind condition, I won't be able to see any external cut here. I mean, I won't be able to see a through all hole here because it's an, it's not under through all. It's going to cut for about 100 mm starting from this point here, which is 20 mm above the surface. From here, it's going to cut 100 mm in the downward direction. So it's going to leave this 20 mm here and we would be able to see a slot. 
let's go ahead and have a look at this so instead of making a through all hole it made a slot here because of the condition we have provided this time i'm going to make it i'm going to just uh, reverse the direction okay also in this case you won't be able to see any through all hole but you can see a slot but from the downward direction so we already had a look at through all now i'm going to use through all both so through all both is nothing but it's going to cut in both the directions initially we saw uh, the extra cut feature cutting only in this direction or in this direction but this time it's going to be in both the directions and uh, we don't have any body here to cut actually so before applying this i'm going to go ahead and create a body so i'm going to go to this plane sketch and extrude boss rbs keeping them together I want a distance of about 20 mm between these two or maybe let's say 50 mm between these two for that purpose I'm going to use offset so offset distance is going to be 50 so now we have an offset distance of 50 between these two surfaces or two blocks and then I want to click on OK so now we have two blocks here and we have one cut extrude so I'm going to go back and edit this feature now as you can see uh, the second block disappeared that is because of the order here so here we have boss extrude one which is this block then we have cut extrude one which is this hole and then we have boss extrude two here so instead of going with this order i'm gonna change the order of the features we have here so i'm gonna drag it and move it below boss extra 2. as you can see the order changed now so i'm gonna go to cut texture and i'm gonna use edit feature this time instead of using it in a single direction i'm going to use through all in both the directions as you can see there is a projection here projection of the same sketch here which this time it's cutting through both the bodies and make sure that the direction 2 is turned on and here instead of using selected bodies use all bodies under feature scope then you will be able to notice a hole here click on ok as you can see with single sketch here we created holes in two blocks you can do this for n number of blocks here depending on the requirement but this is how uh, through all in both direction works i'm going to go back to cut extrude again now let's go back to cut extrude one and have a look at some of the variations so we have up to next so basically you're going to select the next surface and then we have vertex it's almost like a choosing a vertex point here then we have offsets offset from surface which works exactly like offset here you would be able to give some offset distance then we can select up to body 2 so if you wanna use extruded cut until next body you can simply use up to body and you can select the body then we have mid plane so when you select mid plane it is going to take symmetric values let's say if i give 200 here it's going to take 100 on this side and 100 on this side starting from this point so this is the mid plane here it acts as mid plane and 100 goes on this side 100 goes on this side if i use let's say something like 300 it gets extruded in both the directions and when i click ok you would be able to see holes here 
And if I change the length here or the depth, depth of extrusion, let's make it something like 150. Okay. This time you won't be able to see a through all hole because there is not enough depth. As you can see, we have a slot here and then we have another slot here. This is another variation we have in cut texture. This way you can actually use extruded cut feature uh, for making holes or any kind of slots or for removal of material in a solid object. Sometimes in order to make holes like this or slots like this, you don't really have to uh, use extra cut feature. Instead, you can use extra boss feature and uh, simplify the design. I'm going to show how to do that. First, I'm going to delete this sketch or the uh, design we have here. I want to delete this sketch or simply I'm going to use this sketch here. Right click on this and delete sketch. Here I'm going to draw a circle. Smart dimension. This is going to be, let's say 50. Okay. And the sketch is still underdefined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this circle and I'm going to select this point here and make them concentric okay as you can see the sketch is fully defined and I'm gonna go to features now extra boss or base as you can see there is a hole here I am going to click on OK now we have a hole here which is a through all hole and we didn't really use any extra cut feature for this instead we just used extra boss feature i'm going to design similar one right click delete so i'm going to go to top plane here and instead of square i'm going to draw a circle offset entities I'm going to give a distance as 30 here. Okay. And smart dimension. I'm going to give you a dimension of about 150 to this. So now the sketch is fully defined. I'm going to go to features, exterior boss or base. And I want to make it 150 mm okay as you can see we have a hole but we didn't really use any exterior cut feature for this this way you can use exterior cut feature you can try it on your own you can try with different methods you can follow different procedures to do this uh, you might be able to find something new by yourself we'll see you all in next video till then take care bye bye